Well, what's going on guys? Billy Davidson here with BillyDavidsonVIP.com. We're actually doing some pressure washing in Birmingham, Alabama. Guys, I'm gonna talk to you about a little about what we're doing here. We actually traveled from Hammond, Louisiana. That was a nice little long drive, pulling the truck and trailer and everything else. I wanted to show y'all something real quick before I get into the video. I don't know if you all have had a chance to check out these little, what we call baby Duramaxes. This little thing pulls like a mule. It's a three liter inline six turbocharged little diesel engine. I'm telling you, man, y'all ain't gonna believe me, but you leave it in the comments below. Without pulling the trailer, now pulling a trailer, things change, but without pulling the trailer at 65 miles an hour, you ain't gonna believe it, but I get about 35 miles to the gallon at 65. You get on up to 70, you're starting in around 30, and if you're running 80, you're probably gonna get in the mid to high 20s. Now, pulling a trailer, it's a different story. At 65, I get about 20 miles to the gallon. Plus, on the back of my trailer, I got a big sign, which acts like a parachute. So, just wanted to throw that in there. This is a GMC Elevation four-wheel drive, 2024. But those baby Duramaxes, I am incredibly impressed by them. I've had that Tundra. Uh, it was 2021 5.7 V8, and that thing was strong, but man, that thing was thirsty. So, uh, just quick note on that Tundra pulling a trailer, I get like eight miles to the gallon. This, I'm getting 20 miles to the gallon. I know diesels have their issues and stuff with, down the road, but usually we get rid of them about every couple of years. So, uh, we downstream this building. This building is not super dirty, it's something that we come clean every seven or eight months sometimes a little sooner depending on how much rains here in birmingham i absolutely love birmingham it's so beautiful out here guys if you in the birmingham area well me and apex has been all over today we work in the night crew there is so much pressure washing and parking lot striking needs to be done right here in birmingham uh, and the surrounding areas coming into birmingham uh it's just everywhere uh, so if you're interested in learning some stuff from us how we get this type of business go check out billy davis and vip.com you'll find some training courses including the all pro parking lot striping course if there is a coupon code on it i'll leave it down in the comments below i'll have to check my website and see if they run in any promotions for this month so we downstream this building now 12.5 percent sh is where i buy it at bulk i put it in my tank but i actually split that 12.5 in half with water since it's over 70 degrees so i'm actually downstreaming out of the holding tanks around six percent and my downstreamer is going to cut that again a one to ten ratio so i'm not even really getting a one percent maybe right at a one percent and it's activating really good on a mold or mildew the biggest things you'll find on these metal buildings guys is you don't want to do any pressure washing on them because not this building in particular because it's rather new, but you will get oxidation on it. And if you pressure wash it, you will zor this thing up. When it dries, these cars from the highway will be able to see every wand mark you make. So you don't want to pressure wash a building per se, but you can use chemicals to clean it in very low pressure, more like shower head pressure, maybe a little bit more. But the rule is if it hurts your face, it'll hurt the building, like literally. If you wouldn't put your face in that stream of water, like it would cut your skin or whatever, then you don't want to pressure, use that much pressure on a building. And also, you got to be careful not to take a scrub brush to this thing, too, because if it's got oxidation on it, you can scrub the oxidation off. And there again, you have a big old giant blotchy spot in the siding there. Now, sometimes we do re remove the oxidation. That would be for paint prep. It's very expensive. Expensive on us, very time consuming, and it's not necessary usually unless you're going to paint the building. In this case, we're just doing some cleaning on it. These doors, as well, sometimes you'll get handprints around the doorknobs and stuff. SH, we usually don't do a whole lot of handprints, especially the mechanic shop is oil and stuff. You want to take a microfiber a rag, maybe some Dawn dish soap, clean up that door, scrub brush, that sort of thing. Again, don't use pressure on the door because if it's oxidized, you leave the door marks in that as well. So this is the building, it's a pretty good sized building. This right here, if you want to learn how to price it, I have a course on billydavisonvip.com. 
that explains how you price this stuff out with optimum success and also we have some sample contracts in the all pro parking lot stripe course and our other courses com estimating commercial pressure washing sonic track cleaning classes all those got contracts in them. and i always, I always tell guys the the, the the work is won or lost usually when you write your estimate. Sometimes it's not all about the price. It's about how you write that estimate. And if you're not writing them right or correctly, you're going to lose 7 out of 10. You know, 30% closure rate is pretty low in our industry. I like to get up around at 50 or 60% closure rate. If I'm starting to close more than that, I creep my prices up. If I find that the economy is doing a little poor and I'm not, not closing five or six out of ten, then I'll drop my price a little bit. But I do want to close five or six out of ten jobs up here because it takes time to ride around burning gas and diesel and everything else to look at these jobs. So won or lost in the estimate. I promise you, 30 years into this industry, I've seen it over and over again. Sometimes it's the way you write your estimate which costs you the job, the entire job. So check out our sample contracts. As you see Apex here, he's rinsing after we treated it with like a 1% sodium hypochlorite. You see he's using a circular motion from high to low. That's the best way you wanna rinse it. And look, what makes or breaks a pressure washing company is their ability to rinse well. And again, with metal, you never know how clean it is until you touch it. You gotta touch it, make sure it's grit free. If I don't see you touching your metal buildings, I know you're not cleaning right. You don't know if it's clean unless you touch it. Because if it's still gritty, you got to go back and re-rinse again. See Apex? He knows the drill, don't you? Oh, yeah. Got to touch it to make sure it's clean. That's right. Now, if it's a wood surface or concrete, that's not necessarily. But on metal, you want to reach over there and touch a couple spots, test it. If it's still gritty, keep trying again. You know, it's just, it's just a little bit of water, a little bit of time. Rinse it well. I don't know how many times I've seen guys come in and pressure wash a building, surface clean, all that stuff, and they splatter junk all back over the building. It looks nasty, and it actually looks worse than what they found it. So make sure you're touching it. Not using pressure. Chemical treatment only on metal buildings unless you're removing oxidation. You want to learn how to stay busy in your pressure washing business or start a parking lot striping business like all these lines here that I've striped. Check out BillyDavisonVIP.com. Coming to you live from Birmingham, beautiful Alabama. Guys, if there was any other place in the world I'd move to other than Hammond, Louisiana, I would definitely consider Birmingham. If y'all haven't visited Birmingham, please do so. It is an incredible city. I love the landscape. The people are great, and the food is even better. Again, I'm Billy Davison here with BillyDavisonVIP.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.